Ladies and gentlemen, fight fans all around the world, you are watching what you need. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's get into the weekend fights. Some of the fights have already transpired, so we will give some of the results and some predictions. Let's start off with the fight in Las Vegas, Nevada on True TV. Gilberto Ramirez versus Javorg Kachikian. And this fight, I predict that Gilberto Ramirez will win that fight, being the favorite. Also tonight, Diego De La Hoya faced Giovanni Delgado. And he was able to get the win. It went the distance against Giovanni Delgado. Congratulations to Diego De La Hoya. Tomorrow night, November 21st, at the Mandalay Bay, Las Vegas, Nevada, USA, on HBO Pay-Per-View and Box Nation, the mega event, Miguel Cotto, will face Saul Canelo Alvarez. Right now, I have no prediction for this fight. I don't know who will win. I don't know if it will be a draw. I don't know anything about this prediction. This is one of the true 50-50 fights, in my opinion. Both fighters can do things to negate the other fighter. So it will really come down to who you like. If you were to bet on these guys, I suggest you put some money on Canelo. I suggest you put some money on Miguel Cotto. Just go with straight wins. Either Canelo wins or Cotto wins. And you might want to even put some money down on a draw. So one way or the other, you're going to win some money. But at the end of the day, I'm telling you right now, I can't predict it. So that's up in the air. Takashi Miura, however, against Francisco Vargas. Very interesting fight. Francisco Vargas is a knockout artist. And um, he has pretty impressive record. He's undefeated. He is the contender against Takashi Miura. Takashi Miura, who is the champion. I'm still going with Miura for the win because of his experience, his boxing skills, and his boxing IQ. I go with Miura for the win. Randy Caballero versus Lee Haskins. Well, interestingly, Caballero couldn't even make the weight for the weigh-in for the defense of his IBF title. So he was stripped on the scales. He's going to be probably bigger than Lee Haskins, probably stronger than Lee Haskins. However, I don't know too much about Lee Haskins. I do know about Randy Caballero. I like Randy Caballero. He sometimes bangs, but for the most part, he's also a very sharp, very skilled boxer, and he's still developing as a fighter. I'm going with Randy Caballero for the win. I think he's going to have all his strength. He's looking at winning the fight and not trying to just keep a title. So I pick Randy Caballero to get the win there. Jason Velez versus Ronnie Rios. Again, Ronnie Rios is more of a knockout artist. Jason Velez also has some, some pretty good action and KO power. I do believe Velez is a fighter under Miga Cotto's banner. So this is gonna be an intriguing matchup. I think that Jason Velez will get the win, but Ronnie Rios don't count him out. Then Guillermo Rigondeaux versus Adrian Francisco. Francisco again has a decent knockout ratio, has very good knockout power, but my question mark is on his defense. If he doesn't have excellent defense, He's not going to be able to beat Guillermo Rigondeaux. When I looked at him on the scales, he looked in fantastic shape. Guillermo Rigondeaux, as always, is in fantastic shape. Some people think Rigondeaux is overlooking Francisco. I don't think so. I think Rigo is very much aware of what's in front of him. And I believe this is another day at the office. I wouldn't be surprised if he not only beats Francisco, but stops him. Especially Francisco does not have good defense. You need to have. You need to have good defense when you're fighting against Guillermo Rigondeaux. So that will be the question on the day. I have Guillermo Rigondeaux winning, not by unanimous decision, but actually by stoppage. In Manchester, UK, on Sky Sports, Dali Perez will be defending his title yet again in a rematch against Anthony Crowler, where they had fought the first time before to a draw. I expect Perez to come off with the win. In Germany, Arthur Abraham will be facing off against Martin Murray. Arthur Abraham is pretty solid. Even though he's up in age, he has been knocked out once or twice before, but I expect him to be able to defeat Martin Murray. While he can box and he's pretty tough, I think Arthur Abraham may just stop him. Finally, Hassan J. Endom will be facing Afta Dil Kurt Sitz. And I pick Hassan Endom to win because he has very good boxing skills. He's tough, but the problem with him is when you hit him on the chin, he goes down. He's pretty chinny. He's not chinny in the sense that he gets knocked out, but he's definitely chinny in the sense that he gets dropped and sometimes punch drunk, like Americon. He does recoup pretty quickly, though. So that's it for the predictions for the weekend fights and some of the weekend fights results. Tune in for the post-fight results for the weekend fights. Until then, you guys have a great day.